chances you missed, all the sad story for life is, you blame life, it's your fucking fault. <laughs> Still fucking sad. Oh, that's not going to kill you. By the way, it needs to be turned on. Hmm. But you knew that. You're too fucking scared. You're just going to sit and sit. Here we go. Do it. Oh, you can't be serious. Do you think this is a sign? From who, God? Where was God when you started to fuck your life up? No, you're beyond help. They should be entertaining. Calling the helpline. This isn't the same as calling a sex line. I don't think you'll find the same fulfillment. Are you expecting a stranger to save your life? You fucking... You're not a man. Men don't live the way you do. Men don't need other people. They don't ask for help and whine and say how sad they are to get attention. You're not even a baby. Babies are cute. I can't believe you fooled people into liking you for a second. This phone call will not change you. You don't want to be changed. No one can help you. You're not worth Hi. You've reached the suicide helpline. My name is Becky, and I'm here to help you. Becky. Good day, sir. 
What is your name? Paul. Nice to meet you, Paul. How can I help you today? It's, um... Everything. Everything's wrong. I lost everything. My girlfriend left me. Uh, and it got worse. I, I lost my job. I have no friends. I'm all alone. And I wanted it to stop today. I wanted it to stop today. So I took a bath. And, um... Had a toaster with me. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. It's okay. You called us and that was the right thing to do. I can help you. You're not alone in this. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Now, Paul, you mentioned a toaster. Were you trying to... Yes, I was. What's the point? It's... It's painful to live. <laughs> it's painful to live. I wanted to stop today. I wanted to have a bath with a toaster. Because it seemed like the easiest. Now, Paul. I want you to relax. I'm here to help. It's all going to be okay. Now tell me. What brand of toaster is it? What? The toaster. What brand is it? I, I don't know. Well, please, Paul, can you check? This is important. Right. Right. It, it, it's Philips. Okay, could work. But is it the stainless steel range? Uh, I don't know. It's some um, silver and black. No, that doesn't help. What's the wattage? Just look underneath, Paul. It'll have the amount on the sticker. It says 800 W. It's uh, 800 watts, I think. Oh, well, that's no good. It's a good thing you called us, Paul. What? Why? Well, I know for a fact that 800 watts is just not going to do it. And Philips is a good brand, which means they probably have safety precautions. Oh. Suppose you didn't consider that, did you? No, I didn't. That's all right. A hair dryer would work better. Do you have one? A hair dryer? Hmm? No, I, I never had the need. Okay, well, we could try sticking a fork in it. It might be just enough to disrupt your heart glow. Surely you have one fork in your home. What? Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. I thought... This is a suicide helpline. I thought you were supposed to... Help you? That's what I'm doing, Paul. Now, do you want help or not? If you do this on your own, it sounds like you're going to make a real mess of it. Hey, no. Actually, yes. I just confirmed it. The Philips 800 compact range is just not powerful enough to guarantee permanent heart failure. There's a strong chance you'll end up with merely a stroke and you have to spend the rest of your life paralyzed. And I'm going to assume you don't have any health insurance? No, I don't. See? Isn't it wonderful I'm here to help? I guess so. Hey, that's not the right attitude to have. Come on, Paul. We're going to do this together. Now, do you have a car? No, I can't afford one. Oh. I'm sorry, that would have been the most peaceful. Don't fret. There are still options. Um... Let's brainstorm. Get a pen and paper. This is always my favorite part of the job.
Shock. Shock. Okay. Last. Hey. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Both got G. Last got G. Uh huh. It's, it's useless. I'm useless. Uh, I'm, I can't get anything right. <laughs> Don't say that, Paul. You can do this. I believe in you. No, you're right. You are useless. Now fuck off. I'm sorry? You know your problem. It's your attitude. The first sign of resistance and you throw in the towel. That mouldy little towel of yours. Maybe if you had a better attitude, you'd have a better life. You might have kept your girlfriend, your job, and you might have had some friends, actual friends. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of you prolonging your sad life. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. I won't let you give up. Not when you're so close. Even if I have to do it myself. Hear me? What on earth are you doing? Are you trying the rope? No, 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 no. But not, it's not ready yet. Paul, 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 Paul. Oh, no, 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 Paul, Paul, don't do that. Is there someone with you? Paul. Oh, no. You haven't completed the knot. It's not going to hold. Oh, God. Oh, what happened? 
was all that noise? Oh, nothing. It was uh, an annoying problem, which I've dealt with now. Oh, that's good. But, Paul, I worked out a better solution. Much simpler than the noose. Okay? You just need to tie one end of the rope to a beam, and the rest is easy. Oh, wait. You, you do have a beam in your house, right, Paul? When I brought up hanging, I specifically said... Becky, it's okay. I've changed my mind. I no longer want to kill myself. Now, Paul, let's not get carried away. Remember how terrible your life is. You don't want to go on like this. What do you have to live for? I don't know. I just think I'll find something. Wait, Paul. This isn't like you. No, it's exactly like me. Thank you for trying to help, but I'm going to go and live my life. Goodbye. No, 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 wait. Wait, wait, Paul! didn't do it.